yes friends we have a data with eight six data values the lowest value is 168 and the highest value is 190 in for this data we are going to determine various measures of dispersion or say measures of variation the first measure of variation for any data is range range of the data now what do we mean by the range of the data range means the difference between the highest data value and the lowest data value that means we have to subtract the lowest data value from the highest data value in this case the highest data value is 190 and the lowest data value is 168 so the range of this data comes to 22 so range is the difference between the highest data value and the lowest data value this is not of much use because just knowing the difference between the highest value and the lowest value is not of that use the second is interquartile range popularly known as IQR interquartile range interquartile range if we define the interquartile range then interquartile range is the difference between the highest quartile that is Q3 and the lowest quartile so the formula can be IQR equals to highest quartile Q3 minus lowest quartile Q1 many a times it is also known as the limits of central 50% data values because by taking Q1 we forego the first 25% or lowest 25% data values and by taking Q3 we forego the last or the highest 25% data values so this give us the range of the central 50% data values now for this purpose first we have to determine the values of Q1 and Q3 so let us find out Q1 that means P25 for that purpose we have to first find out the index and index for P25 is now we know that it is 25 by 100 into and that is 6 so it comes to 1.5 if index is not an integer then take the next integer value first that is 2 so rp25 or q1 is the second data value therefore q1 comes to 170 now let us find q3 or the highest quartile and that is p75 again index for p75 is 75 by 100 into n that is 6 4.5 yes so it is 4.5 again the rule says if the index is not an integer value then go to the next integer value that is 5 that means we can say that rp75 or q3 or the highest quartile is the fifth value and the fifth value is 184 184 so q3 comes to 184 now we can find out the value of IQR in this formula substitute 184 for Q3 and subtract 170 as Q1 so the interquartile range 14. is 14 IQR interquartile range that is the difference between the highest quartile and the lowest quartile or the range or limits of the central 50% values these two are actually very simple measures both are ranges one is the range of the entire data and another is the range of the 50% data values now let us go for some more advanced calculations and we are going first to calculate the variance from the variance we can calculate the standard deviation 
and then on the basis of mean and standard deviation we shall calculate coefficient of variation popularly known as C. To find out mean let us take the data as x 168, 170, 174, 182, 184 and 190. The summation of these six values comes to 1068 that is sigma x. To calculate variance or standard deviation, first we have to calculate the mean. Mean, this is a sample, so we are using the sign x bar and x bar is sigma x divided by n, that is number of observations in the data. The summation is 1068 divided it by 6. So, the mean is 178. Now variance. To calculate variance, now we are going to prepare another column known as x minus x bar. That means we are going to subtract x bar means 178 from each and every data value. The first is 168 minus 170. 178 I mean. So it comes to minus 10. Similarly, 170 minus 178 is minus 8. 174 minus 178 is minus 4. 182 minus 178 it is positive 4. 184 minus 178 is positive 8. And 190 minus 178 so it is 6 and 190 minus 178 that comes to 12 we need not write the total but just verify what is the total it must be 0 because the summation of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean is always 0 the total of the negative value is 22 and the total of the positive value is 22 22 minus 22 comes to 0 always verify the total of the column of the deviations taken from them it must be 0 if it is not 0 that means there is at least one error first we have to solve the error we have to get the total 0 and then we can move forward for x minus x bar all square in this case we are going to calculate the variance by the formula by virtue of the definition given by Carl Pearson. Minus 10 square is 100, minus 8 square is 64, minus 4 square is 16, 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36 and 12 square is 144. We need the total of this column. What is the total? 376. 376. That is known as sigma x minus x bar whole square. This is called the summation of the squared values of the deviations taken from actual or arithmetic mean. Summation, sigma is summation of the squared values of the deviations, deviations means difference, taken deviations taken from arithmetic mean. Now we can calculate the variance. So first we are going to calculate variance in order it is number 3 for us. Variance equals to sigma x minus x bar the whole square since this is a sample data, if we calculate variance or standard deviation for any sample data, we have to substitute n minus 1 in the formula as a denominator. If we calculate variance for the population, then we will substitute capital N only. 
but if it is a sample data we have to subtract one from n now we have all the two values 376 divided by n minus 1 means 6 minus 1 that is 5 75.2 75.2 that is variance of these data now we have variance so we can easily calculate the standard deviation standard deviation is nothing but the positive square root of variance if we have already calculated the variance when then we should not use the entire formula just get the square root of the variance 8.67 8.67 that is standard deviation what is standard deviation standard deviation is positive square root of the variance or we can define the standard deviation as standard deviation is the positive square root of this formula many statisticians suggest that we should use n instead of n minus 1 but many statisticians suggest that if we are dealing with a small sample then we should subtract 1 from the n if we deal with the large sample then it is not necessary to subtract one from the n sample size is six that means this is a small sample so i personally suggest to subtract one from n if a sample size is of say in hundreds or thousand then it is of not much effect that you subtract one or not so in case of large sample we can use similar formula for calculation of sample as well as the population sigma x minus x bar whole square divided by n now on the basis of standard deviation and mean we can calculate other value too first we are going to calculate it and then we are going to discuss a brief in brief about the utility that is coefficient of variation popularly known as CV that is percentage of standard deviation to the mean so standard deviation divided by mean into 100 in our case the standard deviation is 8.67 and mean is 178 get the percentage 4.87 87% that means in this data the standard deviation is 4.87% or say approximately 5% of the mean now why should we calculate coefficient of variation in all cases is it not necessary to calculate the CV or coefficient of variation when we compare two or more different data for the purpose of variation if the mean of all the two data is equal that means if there is another data and the mean of that data is also 178 then it is not necessary to calculate CV for the purpose of comparison we can compare or rather we can make any judgment about the variation just on the basis of the standard deviations just we have to compare the standard deviations of the two data in which case where the means of the two data are equal but when we have two da different data and mean of them are not equal then by comparing merely the standard deviations we cannot arrive at a correct conclusion about the variation of the data in that case it is advisable to calculate CV or coefficient of variation that how much percentage the standard deviation is of the mean of the data and then we compare the variation of the two data by comparing the CV of the two respective data so these are the five say measures of 
डिस्पर्जन और वेरिएशन यस थैंक यू